One of the most frequently asked questions is, how to clean a water distiller with citric acid. Learn everything you need to know about cleaning a water distiller with citric acid in three easy steps. Plus, learn how to extend the life of your distiller up to 30 years with our maintenance tips and tricks. So make sure you watch the whole video. Hi, I'm Brandon Flint with Rocky Mountain Water Distillers. Today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to clean the interior and exterior of your stainless steel water distiller. How to clean a Durastil water distiller in three easy steps. Easy clean step number one. Clean the stainless steel water distiller boiling chamber. Easy clean step number two. Clean the stainless steel water storage tank. Easy clean step number three. Replace the filters. You will find everything that we use in this video and guide in our ultimate Durastil maintenance kit. Caution, before you service or clean your water distiller system, always unplug your distiller from the electrical outlet as a safety precaution. And make sure your distiller is cooled down and not hot. Never open the lid to the distiller while it is operating. Hot steam may cause severe burns. Before you clean your distiller, make sure you drain your water storage tank so that it's empty. Now you're ready to get started. Step number one, clean the water distiller boiling chamber with citric acid. Remove the boiling chamber lid and keep it off the entire time while you are cleaning the boiling chamber. You don't want citric acid or any other vapors to go down the condenser coil during boiling chamber cleaning because it will stick to the condenser coil and change the taste and quality of the distilled water. Drain your boiling chamber using the side drain faucet. Look inside the boiling chamber and remove any large pieces or chunks of scale. Now you can drain out some of the smaller particles. Sometimes there is so much filth and buildup in the boiling chamber that the side drain will clog or plug up when you try to drain it. Usually the filth scale and deposits in my boiling chamber look actually like white sand. That's the best way I can describe it. But the most common colors are white, brown, and black, depending on your water source. Your goal here is just to remove any large chunks and drain out what you can. If it starts to drain and then gets plugged up, don't worry. Just get out what you can and then don't forget to close the side drain. Fill up the boiling chamber so it is a quarter inch above the water fill line. This is easy to see because there is usually a mineral or scale line that goes around the boiling chamber. It kind of looks like a soap scum line in a bathtub or a mineral deposit line around a sink. We want the Durastil still clean to clean off this scale and build up. That is why we want to fill it above the water line level. Basically, the still clean will clean everything below the water level. Make sure you don't fill up the boiling chamber completely because you don't want the filthy water and still clean to go into the condenser tube at the top of the boiling chamber. I like to use a pitcher of tap water and manually fill up the boiling chamber until I get the water line a quarter inch above the fill line. Add a quarter cup of Durastil Still Clean to the boiling chamber. Durastil Still Clean is made especially for cleaning Durastil water distillers. Still Clean has one simple ingredient, citric acid found in lemons, limes, and other citrus fruit. This food grade citric acid is used to clean the inside of the stainless steel boiling chamber and all of the components therein, including the heating element, float, etc. Steel Clean is the fastest, safest, easiest, and most effective cleaner for Durastil water distillers. It does an excellent job of dissolving minerals, water scale, and other boiling chamber residue. Plug in the distiller and bring the water to a boil to activate the Steel Clean. I timed my distiller and it took about 30 minutes to bring the water to a boil. It takes longer than normal to boil because the lid is off. Let the water boil for 20 minutes and then turn off the distiller by unplugging it. We just want to heat up the water to help activate the still clean and improve the descaling and cleaning process. Let the still clean sit in the boiling chamber for eight hours. Don't forget to leave the lid off the entire time you're cleaning the boiling chamber of your distiller, even while the distiller is sitting and cooling down. After being turned off and sitting for eight hours, your distiller will be nice and cool for you to work on. I like to clean the boiling chamber in the evening and then just let it sit overnight to maximize the cleaning power of the still clean. That way, the still clean will keep cleaning and descaling for the next eight hours overnight. 
Then I finish cleaning the boiling chamber the next morning. Drain the scale residue debris and dirty water from the boiling chamber out of the side drain. Now you will see the scale and buildup that was on the walls of the boiling chamber in the water. Some of it floats on the top of the water, some of it sinks to the bottom of the boiling chamber. Depending on the chemicals in your water, this may look different in your distiller, but mine is brown or white colored and has a fine sand-like texture. Next, open the side drain faucet of the boiling chamber and let it drain out. If the boiling chamber has not been cleaned for a long time, or you just have a lot of scale buildup and junk in your distiller, you may find that the drain gets clogged. If this is the case, then just take a spoon and scoop out the junk through the lid hole on top of the distiller. Be careful with the spoon so you don't bend or damage the float, float rod, or heating element. Just be patient and take your time. I like to softly wipe down and scrub the side walls of the boiling chamber with a sponge. If the boiling chamber is not as clean as you want it, then repeat the above cleaning process. For this distiller, I'm going to clean it again with vinegar to show you how. You can see it at the end of the video. Ultimate tip. As a good rule of thumb, if the scale on the heating element and boiling chamber walls are still the thickness of a credit card, then clean it again. After it's clean, fill up the boiling chamber and flush it out. Close the side drain faucet and fill up the boiling chamber with water again, slightly above the fill line. Then open the drain valve and drain all the water out to flush and empty the boiling chamber. I usually fill it up and drain it twice just to make sure to get everything flushed out. Fill up the boiling chamber and add one teaspoon of Durastil Still Sweet. You must fill the boiling chamber with water so you can steam clean the water storage tank in step two below. I just manually fill it up with a pitcher of water and add one teaspoon of still sweet. Why add still sweet? Adding one teaspoon of still sweet is optional but highly recommended. Still sweet keeps the minerals and scale soft and putty like and prevents it from sticking to the heating element and boiling chamber. Still sweet is basically a food grade water softener made of salts. Still sweet will make it easier to clean and drain your boiling chamber the next time you clean it. Don't worry, it does not distill across and it stays in the boiling chamber. You always want still sweet in your boiling chamber. Ultimate tip, still sweet is one of the secrets to extend the life of your distiller up to 30 years. Tighten down the distiller lid to seal the boiling chamber. Congratulations, you just cleaned the boiling chamber. Now it's time to clean your tank. But what if you have a manual water distiller and you don't have a stainless steel tank? Then you can skip step two and go directly to step three. Step two, clean the stainless steel water storage tank. We are going to steam clean or autoclave the stainless steel water storage tank to clean and sterilize the tank at the same time. Remove the Durastil post filter and the line. You will need to loosen the C-clamp and remove the tube from the bottom of the condenser coil. This is where the water comes out of the bottom of your distiller. You will be connecting the steamer tube into the same hole that the post filter just came out of. Warning, you never run steam through your post carbon filter because this will ruin the filter. Only run steam through the steamer tube. Connect the steamer tube. There are two types of steamer tubes depending on the size of your storage tank, short and long. Connect the short steamer tube directly from the end of the condenser coil to the tank if you have the 4 or 10 gallon tank. Connect the long steamer tube directly from the end of the condenser coil to the tank if you have the 25 gallon tank. You must attach the vinyl tube to the metal steamer tube since the opening is at the front of the tank. Make sure you have a good enough seal to prevent steam from escaping. Plug in the water distiller system. You will hear the fan turn on, and that is an easy way to tell if the distiller's on. Turn off the fan switch. Why turn the fan off? When the fan is on, it cools down the steam into water. When the fan switch is off, the steam does not cool down. The hot steam goes directly into the water storage tank through the steamer tube, and steam cleans or autoclaves the tank. This will sterilize your stainless steel Durastil water storage tank. It will take about 20 minutes before the water will start boiling and build up enough pressure to force steam into the water storage tank. Steam clean the tank for 20 minutes. 
After you see steam coming out of the VOC vent on top of the distiller, or if you have a long steamer tube, you'll see steam coming down it. Start your timer. Warning, the stainless steel water storage tank will become very hot during this sterilization process. Do not touch the tank or you will get burned. After 20 minutes, unplug the distiller to turn everything off. Let the whole system cool down completely before you continue. That includes the water distiller head and storage tank. I would recommend you wait at least two hours. Congratulations, you just cleaned your stainless steel water distiller storage tank. You're almost done. Step number three, replace the filters. Some of you may have a manual fill Durastil water distiller like the 30H, or you may have an automatic water distiller system in manual mode. Either way, if your water line is not hooked up through your pre-filter to your distiller, then you have no pre-filter to replace. So you can skip that step. You just need to replace your post filter. For everyone else, our last step is to replace the Durastil pre-filter and the Durastil post filter. If you're changing the pre-filter, turn off your water line from your pressurized source of water. You'll have a water mess if you don't. Unscrew the Durastil pre-filter and replace it, and then reconnect the inline filter. Disconnect the steamer tube. To remove the short steamer tube, pull down to disconnect it from the condenser coil, and then cock it off to the right or left, and pull it up and out of the 4 or 10 gallon water storage tank. To remove the long steamer tube, unscrew the C-clamp from the condenser coil and then pull the metal tip out of the 25-gallon tank. Unscrew the Durastil post filter and replace it. Then reconnect the new post filter and line to the water storage tank. You can reuse the 90-degree elbows that screw into the post filter for many years, so don't lose them. Then screw in the 90-degree elbows into the new Durastil post filter. There is one for each end of the filter. Connect the flexible tube to the condenser coil. Tighten the C-clamp and make sure you get a good seal. Then put the smooth 90 degree elbow into your water tank hole. Turn on your water supply. If you turned off your water supply to replace your filters, don't forget to turn it back on so that water will flow to your boiling chamber. Turn on the fan switch. With the fan switch turned on, you will be making distilled water again because the fan will cool the steam back into water. Plug in your distiller and let it distill at least one gallon of water. This should take two to three hours depending on your distiller model. Then drain the water storage tank and discard this first gallon of water that you just made. Congratulations, you have just learned how to clean the inside of your Durastil water distiller. Learn how to extend the life of your distiller up to 30 years with our maintenance tips and tricks. Here are the ultimate cleaning and maintenance guide tips. You must keep your distiller clean to maximize the life of your distiller. You should drain your boiling chamber and then add Durastil Still Sweet to your boiling chamber at least once every month. Even better, the Durastil engineers recommend draining your boiling chamber once per week and then add Still Sweet. Ideally, you would drain it once per week, but I would rather have you drain it once a month than not drain it at all. Draining your boiling chamber will keep your boiling chamber very clean and running optimally. Don't forget to immediately fill up the boiling chamber after. You should clean your water distiller system and replace your filters every six months. You should inspect and clean the condenser coil and fan every six months, but you will first need to remove the front panel of your water distiller. It's easy. You just unscrew a few screws and then slide the panel off. Now you have access to the coil and fan. To clean the condenser coil, you can either vacuum up any dirt, dust, or debris, or you can use an air compressor and just blow it off to clean in between the coil fins. When the condenser coil is clean, it cools the steam into water most efficiently. To clean the fan, blades and motor, Vacuum the fan blades and then wipe them off with a vinegar dampened sponge. You don't want to get the sponge dripping wet because you don't want any liquid to go into the fan motor. Next, vacuum out the fan motor coils to get any dust, dirt, or debris off. You should inspect the boiling chamber lid and opening every six months. If it is dirty and you see scale building up, then clean it with white distilled vinegar. 
Scrub off any dirt or scale around the opening of the boiling chamber. Then clean the boiling chamber lid and crossbar. If the scale won't come off, you can soak the lid in white vinegar for about 20 minutes. Or use a more aggressive cleaner like Lime Away to dissolve minerals and scale. You should replace the float gasket set and heating element seal kit. These rubber gaskets wear out over time and should be replaced about every five years. Good ventilation will ensure the most efficient operation. For best performance, we suggest a room temperature between 40 degrees and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is how you clean your Durastil water distiller. My name is Brandon Flint with Rocky Mountain Water Distillers. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.